she, she confessed to me, you know what, you have really changed. <laughs> Why? Because before I got married, I said to myself, this my marriage is forever. I, in my own mind, there's no option of divorce. It can never happen, number one. Number two, there's no option of marrying a second wife. It can never happen. Number three, there's no option of woman, pack your load and go. It will never come out from my mouth. Number four, there's no option of raising my hand to hit my wife. The day I do it, my hand will paralyze. It must never happen. Do you understand? So I've taken those decisions. So I've decided I will do whatever is necessary to have a happy home. Because I know after fighting outside, when I come home, I should relax. Have it? So now when I'm going home, I'm in a hurry to go home. Unlike many people I know, they are never in a hurry to go home. I'm always in a hurry to go home. So I had to start changing myself for me. Because you can't be insisting on that somebody else should change when you are not changing. It can't work. So the change must start with you. How can the facilitator advise a person with positive attitude to work that later developed negative attitude due to the hardship of the superior officer? <laughs> First of all, you did something wrong by retrogressing. You had positive attitude because of the attitude of your boss. You now develop negative attitude. Shame on you. Shame on you. Why couldn't you affect your boss with your positive attitude? I, I used to work for Microsoft. I left Microsoft April last year to, be, uh, to do professional speaking full time and training. Um, and I had a good job. Every month, I had a coffee. I had breakfast with my manager every single month. And he would have breakfast with every member of his team. Every month, he puts it in the calendar for the whole year. It's, there's not, no discussion. You must have that meeting. If you don't have the meeting, his own appraisal will be affected. That's one of the things his own boss will check. Did you have your one-on-one -on -one meetings with all your team members? So in that one-on-one -on -one meeting, I would give my boss feedback. I would tell him, oh God, you know, the way you handled this issue the other time, maybe you, know, maybe you could have handled it in a different way. And you are giving me positive feedback and also negative feedback if I have to. And he would tell me, Victor, last month you messed up. This particular deal we were doing with this company, you, you know, is this thing you did that made it not to, not to come in on time. So you've got to change that. So you, you know what you have to change. You, you don't wait till the end of the year to not give somebody a very bad rating. No. You give the person the opportunity to change. So you go back, have a discussion with your manager. Influence your manager positively. Don't let negative, negative attitude influence you. You have to influence. Yeah. How can one correct a leader that shouts at his or her subordinate whenever there is an issue? First of all, that, that person is not a leader. Um, you don't shout at people. It's wrong. It is degrading. It is uh, not respectful. That's why I'm saying don't be, that it's a manager that shouts at people. A leader does not. You don't shout at Everybody must be given due respect, even the smallest person. My father taught me that even when, no matter how old you are, if you want to send somebody as small as this, you must put the word, please. Simple courtesy doesn't mean that you're bringing yourself low. No. So you have no right to shout at people. It's a bad attitude within the organization. If you have such things going on, the leaders of the organization must kill it. Tell people, you can, you see, you can correct someone. You can discipline someone in an assertive way. You can insist on something without disrespecting the individual. Every human being is created in the image of God and deserves total respect. First of all, that is a human being. Very important. So how can you correct such a leader? It's not in your place to correct him. You can only influence him. By discussion. Some people, when, they lead, when the manager shouts at them like that, they will shrink. And the next thing is they will not express themselves anymore next time. So the man will keep doing the wrong thing and nobody corrects him. Wrong. Find a, an opportunity when he's probably in a good mood. Sit down with him and say, oh God, I have some things to share with you. I really like you. I really appreciate you. You know, you do this. Go with the positives first. Tell him all the nice things about that. I say, but there's just some observation I would like to make. If you can handle things this way, I'm telling you, you will be a much more effective manager. I will kill myself for you. <laughs> and then 
he appreciates it, he will tell you thank you. He will tell you thank you if he has the right attitude. I don't know how you do your appraisals, but in some of the companies I worked in, you also appraise your manager. Your manager appraises you, you also appraise your manager. So you can, you can appraise your manager.